Hello, Bashar. And a you good day. So nice to meet you. And you as well. I have so much love for you. Our unconditional love to you as well. Thank you. You're welcome. For some reason, everything you say really resonates with me. For some core. reason, yes. <laughs> Um, it's because you're aligned with this frequency in terms of how you need to receive information. I have a question um, yes. regarding myself. Yes. Hopefully, maybe you can help me. Maybe I can. Maybe I out. can't. <laughs> we'll find out together. Okay. I have been doing stock options trading for 10 years plus. Oh, all right. This excites you. It does, but it doesn't. It's, it hasn't served me. It hasn't served you. No, because I lose more money than I make. Then it has served you. It has served you very well. Maybe it's serving you by telling you maybe this isn't the way to go for you. Yes, but I... Maybe you need to put more stock in yourself. Why, why would an intelligent person like me keep doing it for like 10 years? That's a very intelligent question. <laughs> but it still excites me. And I'm trying to follow my, my, you know, excitement. Are you sure it's really excitement? That's the first thing to always check. Are you actually acting on excitement or are you actually acting out of anxiety and calling it excitement in a state of denial? Because you might be afraid to actually do the thing that really excites you because you have a definition that it can't support you somehow? Just a question. But you can think about that for a moment. Yes. Perhaps. Yes, perhaps. All right. Let me put it to you this way. <clears throat> if it wasn't an issue of how it could be helped to happen, what would you rather be doing if you could do anything? I would like to uh, awaken people to their own health because I'm always telling families and friends and are you what saying you that that's really exciting for you? That is really exciting for me. Is it more exciting than investing in stocks? Well, stocks has a different kind of excitement. I understand, but I'm asking you a question right now. Is it more exciting? Right now is that idea, if yes. you knew you could do yes. it, <laughs> that's more exciting. <laughs> yes. All right, so what can you do to invest in that first? Because if the stocks actually are representative of one, one of your expressions of real excitement, the only way you're going to allow it to synchronize and harmonize in a way that really serves you in your life is to act on the thing that excites you the most first and allow that to be the driving engine and the organizing principle of every other expression of excitement that will then automatically play out through synchronicity in your life to show you what you need to do in what order and when. This is how you understand how to use excitement because it is, as we have said many times, a complete kit. It has all the tools you need. It has the driving engine that moves you forward. It has the organizing principle that brings you the synchronicity. It is the path of least resistance. It is the path that connects you to all other forms of excitement in your life. It is the reflective mirror that reveals to you anything that's out of alignment with your excitement so that you can identify it and let it go and add that energy to your excitement. It leaves absolutely nothing relevant out of your life. But the only way it really works in the way that you would prefer it to is by activating it, by acting on the thing that excites you the most to the best of your ability first with no insistence on a particular outcome. That's how the formula activates the kit. So if you act on the thing that excites you the most first to the best that you are able to until you can take it no further and then look for the next option and act on whichever one contains even just a little bit more excitement than any other option, no matter what it is, no matter how simple it seems, no matter how basic, no matter how mundane it may seem, if it contains even just a little bit more excitement than any other option at that moment, that's your synchronicity, that's your higher mind saying, this is the thing to do next. If investing in stocks is in the mix somewhere, 
of what really represents one expression of your excitement, it will be put into the mix in the proper order. Synchronicity will organize it to let you know when it is actually the appropriate time to act on that expression of your excitement as opposed to any other. If it never shows up, that's not what serves you. Are you beginning to understand how this machine works? Yes, what I'm hearing is acting on your most excitement right now. To the best of your ability. To the best of your ability. With zero insistence on a particular outcome. I know that that's a challenge for a lot of you. Zero insistence on a specific outcome. Do you understand why that's important? Because you're, you, your higher self is going to show you what yes, you can't see in exactly, this form. Exactly, and the physical mind can't always tell what that's going to be. But it will always be what's actually best for you. So the idea of having an image, a symbol, a goal, whatever you want to call it, a visualization, that's fine. But you use that to instill the state of being of excitement within you because you get excited when you think about that goal, when you have that idea, when you see that visualization, it gets you excited. Oh yes, this is the best thing that could possibly happen. This is the best outcome I can imagine. That's fine. But once you get all excited about what it is you're seeing or thinking about, drop the goal, drop the vision, utterly let it go. Because you don't actually know if that representation is the best possible representation of that level of excitement. But your higher mind does know what the best representation is. And if you make space by dropping that picture, then you will allow the higher mind to fill that space with what really needs to be there. And in fact, if you understand that the physical mind has its limitations, then you will know that what the physical mind might think or believe to be the ideal outcome may actually be a limitation on the ideal outcome. So why would you prefer that? Does this make sense? Yes, because, you know, probably like most people, I bought into the idea 10 years ago when I yes. wanted to do this as a stay-at-home mom yeah. to be with my children, and then I got like in a habit of doing it. But I was putting forth the, from my physical mind to say, well, if I can make X amount of dollars, yes. then I can do all this other stuff. Making a lot of dollars doesn't always make the most sense. Do you understand? Because abundance is simply the ability to do what you need to do when you need to do it. I've heard you say that, yes. All right. Well, if you've heard it, maybe you want to start practicing it. Because the idea is, it doesn't mean that you can't attract money into your life. That's one legitimate representation of abundance on your planet. It's a symbol of abundance. But that's all it is. It's a symbol, one symbol. If someone comes along and gives you something that allows you to do what you need to do, that's also a symbol of abundance. So if you know that it would be easier, the path of least resistance, for someone to actually come along and say, hey, you know what, I don't need this anymore. Maybe you can use it. And it's exactly what you needed. Would you actually... Put your foot down and say, no, 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 thank you. I'm going to wait until I make enough money to get that. I'm not going to take it from you as a gift. Would you do that? Of course not. Do you understand? Yes, there's, there's more than one path to... And when you focus only on one representation of abundance, you actually close the doors through which other forms can come. I think that's what I've been doing. I know. <laughs> that's why I said what you need to be investing in is your own stock. So uh -huh. take stock of what your beliefs are and invest in yourself so that you can appreciate yourself more. Yes? Yes. And when you appreciate yourself fully, you will be rich beyond your wildest dreams in more ways than you can imagine because you already are abundant. You all are already fully abundant. The issue is not learning to be abundant. The issue is learning what to be abundant in. Because you are always abundant in something, even if it's an abundance of lack. <laughs> you cannot lack abundance, but you can have an abundance of lack. 
So if you don't <laughs> prefer an abundance of lack, choose a different form of abundance. Does that make sense? Yes. You cannot not be abundant. That's not possible. It's your nature. Everything exists right here, right now. Everything you need is here and now. When you allow yourself to exist in the here and now, you will begin to perceive what is also with you in the here and now that is reflective of your true abundant nature. Does that make sense? Yes. Your stock just went up. 